<laughs> Guess who has mail? Um, and their wigs. There's, I think, three of them. Hello, my loves, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm coming to you guys with wig reviews. Um, I actually just got this package in the mail, and I forgot the wigs that I ordered because what I normally do is, is I put a butt ton in my car and then kind of decide which ones I like the most and then I'll just delete a whole bunch of my car or save them for later and then I'll just buy blindly in a sense um, and then I forget what I got which is great because it's like paying, playing wig roulette so um, these I got from Hair So Fly it was my first time purchasing with them but I will leave the links down below to where you can pick up whatever wig I review for you guys and that's, we, we just don't have time for this so literally just gonna pick out the first one I see here which is I think the biggest one there's there's three in here so I just picked out this one is the wig Mina and this is from Bobby Boss the lace front unit and this one is in charcoal I've been looking into Bobby Boss units and he finally or she finally came out with um, the charcoal style units and this is one of their original charcoal units. It looks black. I'm not sure if you guys can see the gray on it. Um, it's kind of open. This is how it came. So anyway, I'm scared because this is a very full unit and I don't want to ginger up more than it needs to be because I don't have a lot of hair naturally so I won't look right with a lot of crazy hair anyway um okay so this one right here I'm actually for this video I'm actually going to do more of a how-to because I get so many questions on how to wear units how to find a good unit um and what do I use even though I show you guys in the video sometimes you know some people need a little bit more in depth so I kind of run through it and everything like that so this is going to be a lengthier video go pee pee get something to drink get a snack it's not going to be that long I hope not. I'm actually going to show you guys the steps on how to wear a unit and make her look believable. And I'm really winging it because I've never tried this unit before. So I'm going to do it with a unit I'm not familiar with. So first things first, um, when you are shopping for a wig, um, definitely look for something that's close to your natural texture. If you have fine hair like I do, I definitely try to go for um, a silky type of wig or a light yakky. Usually when you do your research on a unit and you like a unit, I definitely recommend looking at the pictures up close, um, seeing if they show you the texture of the hair and also Googling it or like looking up pictures on it to see other models wearing it, other different colors. I'm sorry, my phone is hella rude today. I apologize though, but look at this case though. Yes, anyway like two dollars off ebay but anyway um so i do recommend going with something that is closest to your hairstyle i to your hair type i've i've had i have wigs that are a lot more thicker they're more not full-on yakky texture mostly light yakky textures i've lucked out with that um but i do have some units that are just atrocious like my first unit which i can't actually show you guys like my whole wig collection one day let me know if that's something you guys are even interested in i'll do a entire wig try on or my least favorite wigs i don't i don't know we'll do it one day anyway so definitely recommend doing your research and what kind of length you want what kind of style you want what kind of color you want and kind of go from there so i do quite a bit of hunting online so i've, I've made it an art so the next thing is you need to make sure you know how to pull your hair back um me personally i don't know how to do a doobie um and a doobie is a hair wrap for those that you don't know what a dubi is. Um, so it's when you wrap the hair around the head, which I'm not very good at at all. So what I do is, this is my lazy girl do. So I literally do this. I take my little baby hairs out. This is something I've been doing lately. And either way, I wrap my hair. So I'm gonna turn around and show you guys. This is lazy, by the way. So this has been like this all morning though, and it is now late at night so whatever don't judge me but anyway I pretty much just pin my hair it's pinned down I do like a semi what the fuck is this anyway I do like a semi bun I flatten it and then I pin it down I don't know if you guys can see that anyway so make sure all your hairs are tucked in 
especially if you're wearing a unit that's completely different color than your hair. Me, I've been wearing a lot of blacks and a lot of grays lately, so my natural-ish hair is fine with it. Um, you could definitely tuck your hair back completely. One thing I recommend is always having some wig caps. They come usually in a, a pack of two. I don't have any packs here readily available because I tuck them away because I don't want to see them. Um, they usually come in two packs. You could pick them up for like a dollar on the website where you're buying your wigs. Um, so they do sell these. What you're going to do with a wig cap like this, I usually flip it upside down, inside out, and then I go like this. And then I just apply it. I usually go from the back. So uh, if you guys see lint on my hair, me and the cat have been fooling around all day. So I have like cat hair and lint. So anyway. This one's ripped, honey. This one's loved. I get very aggressive with my wig caps. Don't mind me. So what I do is I push it behind my ear and then I pull the cap back. If you have thicker hair, it's probably going to be more difficult to get around the hair. I don't know. I had a brain fart there. It's probably going to be more difficult to get the hair wrapped around it. Or you will have a great time with just having it just thick. For me the wig cap slide. So I talked to a few of my friends that do um, wig reviews. I talked to some more, uh, Loves TV, she's one of them, and she recommended getting a, a wig band like this. So this is a velvet one, it's dirty. It's my go-to for work, especially when I'm wearing it all day. Um, they come packaged like this. Um, I can leave a link down below where you can get this. They're a few dollars. It will be ranging anywhere from two dollars, but you have to probably wait like two months to like five, six bucks to even twenty, thirty dollars. These are velvet. Um, I bought the new one, nude ones, because I kind of I wear a lot with the parts. This is velvety, so I make sure that ugh, it makes me cringe, but I make sure that the part that is a little rougher goes behind the hair if you catch my drift. So this part right here has makeup on it, so I know which way I'm going with it. So you pretty much just take a wig band like this and just wrap it around the hair. There's the Velcro. I don't know if this is zoomed in, guys. And I usually just make sure everything's tucked in, make sure all my baby hairs are tucked in. I don't really care about that if I'm wearing a long unit. And then <laughs> look at my ears. And then I just ever so slightly pull it back. Now I put my wig cap on first and then I apply something like this. So what this does, it's a godsend. Thank you so more for chit chatting with me one day and just kind of giving me your input on this. It's dirty. You can hand wash these, hang them to dry. You're good to go. Um, what this does is the reason why I wear where the velvet hairs are kind of you know, rough in the back is because it keeps my wig in place at all times and I don't need to use the combs, which is great because I was noticing a lot of like hair loss in these areas where I would wear the combs and a lot of soreness. So it does happen. But again, I wear wigs every day at work and I wear them for like all day, like almost 24 hours. I think I wore a wig for like almost a day and a half because I had an emergency and I was not sleeping. I was going, going, going. So I have worn wigs for a very long time and then when I took it off, it was just like hell. Um, there was some bruising and everything. So it does happen, um, especially when the unit is tight. Okay, so now that I'm prepped for my wig, which is something I recommend that you want to protect the scalp, you want to protect the hair from the wig. The wigs do get hot. For some people, they get warm. For me, I don't notice that, but whatever. I'm sure everyone sweats. Also, my recommendation for wigs, I think of any wig type, is a lace front wig. Guys, try to look for something that's lace front. The parting, usually you can work with it on like plucking it and stuff like that. It would just look way more natural on your hairline and won't look as wiggy. If it's a unit that has bangs, you really don't need to worry about it having a lace front because you won't see it. You'll see bangs. So if you love, you know, having bangs on a unit or really like a deep side swept bank where they bank, a really deep side swept bang, where they kind of go like farther out, then you really don't need to have a lace front if the hair's mostly in the front of the face. But for the most part, you guys have seen all my videos, they're all lace front wigs. I think only two of them, or one of them was not lace front where I didn't have to do any cutting. Now, with lace front wigs, 
I have a pair of scissors that are my old time favorites, and this is some men's grooming scissors. They're small, they're sharp, they are perfect, and they're strong for this kind of um, you know stuff. You can also use hair scissors, use whatever scissors you feel comfortable with. Like I was saying, men's grooming scissors or even hair scissors, I would highly recommend because they're sharper, and I'm only doing this with one hand, but they're sharper and they'll cut through a little bit better. So those are just some of my tips on how to get started with the wig process. I also will always recommend having a powder that's close to your skin tone. For me, I use a really pale one because my scalp is really pale compared to my skin or something skin tone, um, something that you use on your face that maybe it doesn't agree with you, but you don't want it to go to waste. Perfect opportunity and a slanted brush like this. This brush, I don't even know where it came from. It just showed up one day, but you can always buy something like this from e.l.f., an angled brush, whatever you feel comfortable. Some people take a big powder brush and put it all on the inside of the cap. I'll show you guys how I do things, um, even though it's kind of repetitive, but I, I know I skimmed through it really fast on my channel. So we're gonna unbox um, Nina from Bobby Boss. So we're gonna get to it. I hope, I hope those tips help because I really don't know. I just started out in the wig game, guys. It's only been like, it's going on two years in June. Um, so I don't know everything. Everyone has a way of doing things. Um, I don't use glues or anything like that. Some people do, you know, everyone has their own technique. So the unit's right here. This unit feels like a light yakky texture and the reason i can tell it's because it's clearly thicker than my natural hair would be but she doesn't have the ridges so it's very pretty and soft um i have like one or two hairs coming out of it it is very long guys she is very long um so this is bobby boss's charcoal unit um this is mina right here she looks long she looks full and long she does have layers um this unit right here is a probably not an ideal unit to show you guys how i do things but because i don't know how she's gonna look okay so wig cap construction um the lace is not jaggedy it's actually a soft lace Ooh. okay so this is actually gonna be my first unit that has this kind of part so i'm gonna flip her over all the way upside down so the cap construction is netting with um yeah it's nice breathable netting um it's sewn onto it with light tracks um it has two combs in the front like that and one comb in the back which i love having a comb in the back i love feeling secured even if it's just like one comb in the front i definitely need a comb in the back it has the adjustable straps which are these right here so these are typical bra like straps you can adjust them to how you see fit. On this unit right here, which is strange, normally you can see the straps that can be attached up to here. Um, this is the starting point for the strap, so I think, I'm not sure if this is gonna be big head friendly um, or women with a lot of hair friendly. It looks like it could be. But anyway, um, the lace on this unit, it actually has a, like a freestyle, when you see a unit that has the two inches of lace that you cut out and then lace in the back is a stripe like this. That means that you can part it freely, which is nice, especially for a unit like this. So you can do a middle part, you could do a side part, which I'm all about the side part. Okay, so I take my grooming men's scissors or hair scissors and I start from one ear tab. Now I constantly make sure that there's no hair, um, no scraggly hairs or loose hairs in the front of the unit because I don't want to cut them. Um, it'll happen, you might cut one or two by accident, but for the most part, you want to follow the hairline that's right here. So even if you have some lace exposed, it's okay, you can blend it with makeup. Um, you just don't want to cut the hairs that are attached. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna easily cut the ear tabs here. Go very slow when you're cutting the lace. Um, some people can manage to tuck in the lace. Um, I don't like that look because I feel like it's uncomfortable. I tried to tuck in the lace once because I was just trying on a wig. It was not. I was so tempted to just pull it out because I knew it was under there. So anyway, I'm cutting it very gently. I'm only using the tip of the scissors. I'm not going in like this. I'm only using the tip of the scissors. 
And the, the scissors are so sharp that it's doing the work for me. Normally, you would put this on a, a rack of some sort over a mirror or something like that and then cut it. It would be the safest bet. But if you're good and steady with your hands, I don't see anything wrong with just holding it from the lace. I've yet to have an entire custom lace wig and I really want one, but it has to be gray. So anyway, so now that the lace is cut, you guys can see you still have that you could see the hairline. And then as you can see, you don't see too much of the lace. So how I put on a wig is normally I flip the cap completely on like this. So I flip it inside out <laughs> and then I grab it with my thumb and finger in the front and then this is the back. So I'm going to sit back a little bit. So what I do is I, I keep the straps on. Some people, I don't know how they could do it. They could put the straps on, not me. So this is going in the front. The combs are on the side. I make sure that when I place this that I put the comb right in the center of the back of the crown area and then I'll work the wig in the front. So I usually just make sure that this is... This is on the front, I press down, press down, and then I hold on to it and then I pull the wig back, like so. I position the comb and I put it in. So I position the comb and I put it in. And then I flip the hair over, of course, so I always look crazy doing this. And I fast forward through this all the time. And I'm, my thumb is still under the lace. So I found a comb, I only stick one. You definitely don't have to if you have the you don't have to use the combs I do so I usually just put one comb in and then you see how this comb sticking out you have to make sure it's flipped out otherwise you're gonna hurt yourself there you go wow okay you pretty much you have the wig on so now you got to take it back oh my god this is a lot of hair all right so you could see the lace still lifting from here so the ear tab is right here. I'm literally shifting the wig how I would want it naturally. And then push it back. So you pull the hair back like so. Now this right here, you might want to um, put some gel and blow dry it. So, oh my God, this wig looks crazy. This looks like a uh, old... A more mature Elvira. I really don't know what to do with this hair. That's a lot of hair. Holy shit. Um, okay, so again, this wasn't the best wig to show you guys how I do things. Enough where you could see my baby hairs or lack thereof. So this wig, what I do is I normally play with it. Clearly, you're not going to like literally shake it and go. So I don't know what I'm going to think about this wig because this is a lot of hair. You could tuck it behind the ear, which is nice. And then you can figure out what you're gonna do with that. Um, but me right now. So the good thing about the parting is that you can actually take a comb, part the hair how you would see fit or not. There's quite a bit of shedding, a lot of shedding. This is a lot of hair. Um, you could definitely add heat to it, which I think I'm going to have to. I have no choice in the matter right now. Um, again, I'm pulling out hairs. This wig has a lot of shedding. Um, I want to try a Bobby Boss wig that's this color without it being this full. I don't naturally have full hair like this. This wig is about 30 inches. Yep. I want to say like 26 to 30 inches. I'm going to stand up. You guys are going to see all. Anyway, this wig comes past my boob, my boobies. I got a Lynn t-shirt, but it caught, oh my God. Yeah, this one is going to need heat because this is just too full for me. This is not ideal. So turn around and show you guys the back before I do anything to it in the front. This is a, a lot of wig right here. I do not know. So I'm going to show you guys how I can semi make her look natural. I'm not too happy about 
the thickness of this wig. This is a full, full wig. On her, it's ridiculously full, and I should have known. I look like a character from like the Adams Family, just Puerto Rican. So I don't know if I could even pull this off. You know how some girls be like, I'm gonna do the little half, little bit, bit, bit. No, no. Okay, so. Let me style this how I normally would style this. Lately, I literally just take the comb and pull my hairs out. The little baby hairs that you guys saw. Some people do their edges. I don't. I literally just blend it in with the hair. This side of my hair, for some reason, straightens out quicker. It just, it gives me no problems. Really right now? Okay, so this wig is giving me shit. Right now, so. So as you guys can see, I took out some of my natural hair. If you already have a part, some people like to tweeze the part. Me, I have, I'm actually going to do this. I'm gonna take the comb. and manually split the hair. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to my hair. So you can actually bring the wig up a little bit and take your hairs. And if you prefer, you see how I'm like splitting my own hair right here? If you prefer to use a gel, go for it. I might end up doing that tomorrow if I wear this wig. This is a lot of freaking hair though. All right, so I'm gonna take some of my Kat Von D powder it's not good for my face i don't even like using it to set my face so instead of the powder going to waste i'm going to use it for my wig so i'm going to take some of the powder on an angled brush what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it on the part of the netting that i want as my um as my part like so You can use creams, but personally, you see how I'm patting it in? So I literally, because I don't want the loose powder to look like loose powder, I literally just press it in and then pat it out like that. So it looks more like scalp. And then I take some and I put it with my natural hairline and onto the skin. So it looks more realer looks more realer, it looks more natural. Um, it looks parted, in a sense. Anyway, um, some people use concealer. I prefer powder because I can dust it off and clean it off and start again another day, especially when you're doing multiple parts on a wig. The other thing I started doing was sometimes you can really see the lace like this. So what I would do is, um, because I don't want to stick it down with gel. You can um, if you use gel. Where's my moco? I have moco gel that I can't find now. Anyway, you take your gel um, and you place it on the edge here of where you know that wig is going to end up. So you would put it on the hair and then you would blow dry it for a few minutes, wait till it gets tacky and then press it on there. You can do that. My thing is, is I would forget and I would pull it and it, it, I mean, it doesn't really do too much damage, but it can if you put a lot of gel. So what I started doing was with something like this, I will take a black shadow and as it folds back like that, I take a black shadow because my roots are dark and press it on there and then spray it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus to, you know, just to let it set and then I'm good to go. So yeah, okay, this wig doesn't look so bad now. <laughs> this is just some starter tips. I know that this is an extended ass video um, and I'm literally just winging it because you guys ask me all the time like little things, little tips and tricks. Um, this is not a wig I would recommend for beginners. Um, so anyway guys, I try to be helpful with the tips and tricks or the things that I use um, to find wigs and how I make them look semi-realistic or, you know, natural. The cap on this feels exact. If you have a little bit more hair, this might be, a, you know, okay, but it will 
this is something that's not completely big head friendly. Um, if you have a lot of hair, this will definitely be a snug unit. Um, but I would think that that wouldn't be so bad if you feel it nice and secure. The cap itself though is stretchy, so there is room for hair. Um, it just doesn't, it's not like one of those other wig cap constructions where you can feel like the hump there if you have like a little bit of hair like I do I feel the hump and then I have to like I don't know manipulate it and press it down and do all this crazy stuff to it so overall this wig is absolutely gorgeous the cap fits great um I like the free part on it um it's very easy to clean up and make pretty the one con that I had for this wig is that it's so full here at the top that for someone like me it just doesn't look too believable so but overall i've I'm, I'm i can make it work so i'm not complaining anymore so anyway guys that's pretty much it for my overall review first impressions and some quick tips on how to wear wigs but this is the bobby boss mina unit and this is in the shade charcoal i hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always i will see you guys in my next video love you guys bye this video is long hmm